What's going on everybody? This is Parker with Uncharted Recreation here in Meridian, Idaho. In front of me I've got the 2024 Sunset Park Sunray 149. Uh, this is a brand new unit, awesome little trailer, really cool floor plan. Uh, I'll start with some specs on the unit, then we'll do a walk around on the outside and we'll end on the inside. Uh, so to start, this unit has a retail price of $25,015. Uh, we have discounted this unit $6,020, making the sale price $18,995. Um, that's plus tax and fees, of course. Uh, dry weight on this unit is 2,260 pounds. Your tongue weight is going to be 220 pounds. And this unit has a cargo capacity of 1,420 pounds. That's what the axles are supported, uh, or that's what they will support. Uh, this unit has a total length of 16 feet 8 inches. A total height, and this includes the roof rack on top, of nine feet tall. Your interior height is six foot two inches tall. Unit has a 27 gallon fresh water tank, 28 gallon black and gray water tank. Uh, your roof rack can support up to 500 pounds. This unit does feature a black tank flush, which I'll show you that in just a moment. Does feature the electric awning, that is an option. Uh, we also equipped this one with the 100 watt roof mounted solar option. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's start on the outside here. Alright, so we're going to start off on the front here. So making our way to the, the A-frame, you are going to have dual propane tanks on this unit, uh, which is awesome. You don't see that a whole lot on these single axle trailers. You will have a manual uh, tongue jack. Um, some people look at that as a positive. Obviously, if it's motorized, the motors can fail, whereas this is a mechanical action, it's always going to work. All right, coming around to the side, you'll notice they did wire a battery disconnect on this unit, which is awesome. Love to see that. And then your battery or batteries would be mounted up here uh, behind your propane tanks. Notice on the front, the lower third or so of the cap here does have a rock guard. It's going to help with any rocks that are kicked up from your vehicle. And then you've got some nice sunray graphics all the way around. Walking around to the driver's side, you'll notice you've got access to your water heater here. Um, you've got your outdoor shower here. Here's the black tank flush I was telling you about that this one does come equipped with. 30 amp power connection right over here. And your black tank uh, sewer connection right there. You do have manual stabilizing jacks on this unit. So I thought I'd point that out real quick. Alright, this is just a cable connection here. I'm going to back up so you guys can get a better view of the side of the trailer. So that's the driver's side. Up top, you'll notice you do have an AC that sticks out right here and then you've got a window on the driver's side towards the front. You'll also have that same window in the rear. Now some of you might be wondering what this thing is right here. That's actually a ladder prep. There's a specific ladder you can order that just hooks right into that. Uh, pretty convenient. We have equipped this one with the off-road package so you do get a slight lift and you get these beefy off-road tires. If you want to know the tire size and wheel size, looks like it's upside down here but if you want to pause the video you can see that. Alrighty. Moving towards the back here, you'll have access to your pass-through storage. This does go all the way through. Looks like the 30 amp cable is being stored in here. Um, that's going to be one of your tanks. Alrighty, and then here's going to be your city water and fresh water connections just to the right of that at the rear of the trailer. You'll have a steel bumper on the rear, full-size spare tire mounted on the back here. Sunset Park was kind enough to include a camera prep, so all the wiring you need for a rear uh, camera is going to be just behind that space there. And now coming around to the passenger side of the unit. Here's another access door to that very large pass-through storage. And then here's a look at the undercarriage here. It is a solid axle. There's your other manual stabilizing jack there. Alrighty. Back up so you guys can see this side of the trailer. Alrighty. 
Next to your door, you'll have the exhaust for your furnace and a quick disconnect propane uh, attachment there so you can bring your own uh, black uh, blackstone griddle, whatever it be. Um, 110 power there as well. Again, this is the 149. Uh, this one also has a solid step ladder, which is super nice when you're done camping that just flips up inside the unit and it uh, allows the unit to have better ground clearance and it also makes it so your your steps don't get uh, filthy while you're driving down the road. All right, that pretty much sums it up for the outside. Let's head on inside. All right, so stepping on in the coach here, you'll immediately be greeted with a two to four person dinette, probably closer to two person dinette. Um, this does make into a small bed, which is nice because it gives you an additional sleeping space here, of course. Behind this cushion over here, you actually have a little bit of storage behind there where your window is. So it's kind of nice. And then backing up here, here's a better view of the dinette. You will have storage underneath this side here. Blackout curtains or shades on all your windows here. Pretty good sized fridge too in this unit. and freezer combo. AC units located just above your refrigerator. All right. Now coming down below your fridge, this is where you're gonna have access to your converter box. Um, all your fuses and relay switches are gonna be in there. And then your CO2 um, detector is also down there. I'll point this out as well while I'm down here. You do have USB and 110 outlets underneath your dinette. Kitchen is going to be just to the left when you walk in. Your control panel located on the outside of this cupboard here. Um, solar charger up top, and then all your lighting, water pump, water heater, all that stuff is going to be located there. You will have a fire extinguisher next to your door. That's where your furnace is gonna be coming, or all the hot air is gonna be coming out. You do have a drawer here. Pretty good size cabinets down below. Two burner stove on this unit. With a nice little glass panel to act as a black backsplash, excuse me. And then a single compartment sink here as well with a cutting board. Here is the options list if you would like to pause the video hopefully that's legible if not you can certainly ask me any questions that I don't cover in this video oven light and fan here and then you've got your microwave up top a little bit more overhead storage here and quite a bit more overhead storage over the bed area which goes all the way through stepping back Really good size mattress in this unit. Easily sleep two adults in this bed. And then maybe another adult or probably child if you turn this into a bed here. So can sleep quite a bit for how small this trailer is. You'll notice there's a door down here. This is actually access to that same pass-through storage that you saw outside. A little dark in there, but nice that you can get at your things without having to go outside. And then let's check out the bathroom here. Pretty decent sized bathroom for, again, how small this trailer is. Nice shower. You will have a light and a little skylight in here as well for the bathroom. So overall very nice. And then next to your bathroom, you do have a TV backer. So if you wanted to put a small TV here, you've got all the power uh, connections that you need to do that. And then there is a ventilation fan in the middle of the trailer here. So. That pretty much covers everything uh, for this video. Again, I probably didn't touch on everything, so feel free to leave a comment down below if there's something that you would like the answer to. Um, I'm always here to help. Again, this is Parker at Uncharted Recreation. Thanks for watching.